in beautiful downtown San Diego. Interleague. Ready to go now? Here's Adley Rutschman. The pitch. Yeah. That's in there, and we are underway. 0-2 oh as he waves oh at that one. The pitch. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Tatis makes the catch, and there's one down. All right, let's take a look at the Orioles' lineup now. And a key piece, a guy having a big season for them, Anthony Santander. And he's leading them in runs batted in this season, which tells me this guy is able to slow things down when it seems like there's a little bit of pressure, and he's looking at it as an opportunity to do damage. You know, a lot of guys, they see runners on base, and they get big. They feel like, oh, all this pressure, I've got to get these runs in. But somehow, he seems to settle into these situations. So watch out when he comes to the plate. Stays alive. One down, base is empty. And a ground ball to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Batting third, the third baseman, Anthony Santander. Yeah. Two outs, base is empty. Anthony Santander, the next to hit for the Orioles. That's in there. Strike one. Hey, and that one hey, clips the corner. Hey, I beat like seven levels, levels in just shapes and beats today. And yeah. down on yeah. strikes he goes. Hey, and hey, good work hey. there as if he gets a one, two, pass, three. You could have got Doing this time around for the together. O's. And now the Padres we get their first opportunity in a scoreless ballgame. Back after this on the, the show. Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club, yes, and what stands two. out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled. Dives, and he can't hang on. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Oh, you can tell he was stiffing that hit all the way. Great hustle getting down the line. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. Think that of one letter. down the line, that's and that's just foul. White Sox right, traded Fernando Tatis Jr. to the Padres of the in 2016 letter. for James Shields and cash considerations. Tatis wondered, G. is it a me? Am I not good enough? Well, oh, Boogie, I think it was just a mistake by the Chicago White Sox that they still regret to this day. Sure, he was there good enough, and he's proved that when healthy no as a big leaguer. That are songs. So wait, Tatis which should I do? Long live the new fresh. Now a screamer game, into the outfield. Barracuda. He's there. Lay, he's got it. And, and there's one. With Latham Crowfee. Down. Which boss battle? As we take a look at the Padres lineup. And one guy who's been great for and whatever, him, I'll Hassan say, Kim. Say yeah, he's been swinging it really well over the last few weeks, man. And OPS over 900 last month. He's put the team on his back, just carrying these guys. Definitely the guy you want up there right now, especially when you need a big swing of the bat. Now the youngster Juan Soto fought off foul. And now the 0-1. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And gone! Juan Soto goes deep. Homer number 25 of the year. The Padres score first. It's 2 nothing. Ziggy, that's his 150th career home run. Man, Boog, 150 trips around the bases. That's a lot. Congrats to him. I tell you what, it's a lot of trotting. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges. Hit your spot. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. And now it's Manny Machado. Hammers that one. Deep left field and forget it. Manny Machado leaves the yard. And they add to their lead. It's 3-0.
tell how ballistic, futuristic game I'm running with this. Back to back, Jack said his club is fired up right now. This is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other and the collective confidence just continues to grow. It's Xander Bogarts now. Lace to right, center base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. Bogarts into second. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. That ball was drilled, 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. One down. Stepping in for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. That's hard hit on the line. Nice grab on the run. Runner tags at second, and he's up to third safely with two gone. Batting seven. The catcher, Gary. And now it's the catcher, Gary Sanchez. In today's game, you look at exit velocity as a measure of process, and if guys are hitting the ball hard, eventually the results usually... Sanchez swings and pummels one. Left field, and that ball is gone! Gary Sanchez hits one out, and they add a couple more. It's five zip. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. Liner, base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Now it's Matt Carpenter. That's a laser base hit. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Coming out for the Orioles, Cole Irvin. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. So the San Diego batting order turns over. Now it's the second baseman, ha Sung Kim. Let's go. On the ground to third. Inning over, although plenty of damage done. All in all, 10 come to the plate. They bat around and five score. We'll move to the second now at Petco Park. It's the Padres five and the Orioles nothing. Back here at the ballpark, top of the second. Here's the Oriole cleanup hitter, Ryan O'Hearn. Ryan O'Hearn. Yeah, the right hitter back to work. On the ground. Tosses to first. And a quick out number one. Batting fifth. The designated hitter. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Mountcastle. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Soto gets under it. Two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Cedric Mullins stands in now and watches strike one. And now, in the air on the infield, Cooper settles underneath it. I'm gonna, I'm and gonna that'll do every it. Every boss fight I've done so far. Three up, three down for the Orioles. The it's one. five nothing. Barracuda is my least favorite. It's Bottom literally of the second, Snake. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you it's look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. The why to kick the pitch. That one not gonna lie, off. this the, but the music in the background is actually. Chris, let's good. not forget that Tatis it has some fat was the beats, cover bro, guy. MLB lie. the show 2021. Everybody remembers that. Yes, they do. 
There's a swing and a drive. It's still a vibe. It's still a vibe. And it is gone. He flexes his power with that swing. Home run number 20 on the year. It's six it's still nothing. Powered That's by exactly the pitch two. he was looking for. Clutches it and hits it out of the ballpark. And now like, it's Juan Soto. He's Nitro one for fun. one with a two-run homer his first time up. We can all agree that Nitro Fun is That one out to right. Music and in one hops the wall. This game. And he's got a double. He's all of these, all no, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just it's hoping so you get in the ball game. Cool. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Here's Manny Machado. He's already over here in this one. And the beats, bro. Like between the shapes and the beats, they're Swings not that different. Swings and blasts one deep to left state. center. That one hops against the fence. The run comes in to score from second. It's well, seven to nine. nothing. Picks himself up in RBI. Dude, That's a good sound changing. coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out to the outfield, Look what I'm playing. That's one of those swings that like just safe. don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a poor stroke. Here's just Xander Bogart. Doubled in his first AP. <laughs> My drive, base hit. Whatever. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners. Nobody out. So digging in, Jake Cronenworth. He's 0 for 1. Jake Cronenworth, the Michigan kid, he played at the University of Michigan. Rays took him in the 15th draft in the seventh round. From playing a, a lot of hockey, eventually made his big league debut with the Padres, Chrissy. Been an all star twice. Base hit and a run in to score. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Here's Gary Sanchez now. He's already homered in this one. That one ripped right center field. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. One run is in. Now two runs score. It's 10-0. Everything came together for him. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced. He squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. James McCann on a pitch here. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score and right where it is. It Seems like a tough Justin, task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Into story mode. Yes, and guys. And now the first baseman, Gary Cooper. Yes, and he's already singled in this game. Of where I'm at in story mode. So, story is your key. Turned on, but that's like foul the, down the like, third baseline. I bet baseline. you're thinking... What well, that's where you want to be right there, team? all over that first pitch fastball. Yeah, just a little too much hook on it. Straighten that thing out. You get to jog around the bases. Mm -hmm. That one ripped left field. And it's gone! That'll fire up the dugout. Home run number 15 on the year. And they tack on to their lead. It's 12-0. When you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to trick the hitter at times. But when you give up a home run right there, manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity's not there to overcome and get the swing and miss. And a base hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you... You don't feel any vibration in your hands you whatsoever. Feel. Such a good feeling. Nice line drive oh, to the pull side dude, right there, but he didn't spin power. off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend what through the baseball the in order to hit a line drive like that. It's Fires to second for one, and it's a double play. Boss. 
Like the, the, I think the there's first always something pretty car. about watching a 5-4-3 double play get right turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. I'm going to send you that capture that I just made. Never mind. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And that one's gone. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch it from the on deck circle. So when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Here's Juan Soto. Line drive, and that's a base hitter to right. So he gets on base and keeps it going. And his hot hitting the continues. Baseman, they kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Here's Machado. Line drive. And that one hops the wall. I hate cleft. Bro, it's Lead the runner worst. gets the stop it's the sign worst is third. Ever. It's a two Left out double, second and third ever. now. You know what the letter here Left is Xander Bogart. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field. Yeah, not. It's, it's the letter Clef. And that it's one hammered it's way back right there. Right and that one is going to go. Clef. His 13th home run of no, the season, Clef. and they tag on it. three. It's 16 to zero. Yeah. Singy, the ball Clef is, is jumping off guy. his bat. Clef. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Orioles, it's Mike Clef. Bauman. Power slider guy, it's boo. Not he a throws word. it hard it's... and gets a lot of late so movement, it's like so it's tough C, to pick up. Right? It's like a C. And that's a bunt single. So that was placed C. perfectly. But well, singing has, that was really nice looking. Able to get it down and in a good spot. And he makes it look easy. Bat angle was perfect. Barrel stayed above the hands. Could almost walk to first. And, then and Gary the Sanchez circle, at the plate. And then around the. Um, what a stop! C. The throw, nicely C. done for the out. An, um, a circle. Back here in San Diego, all set for the start of the inning. And here the is Austin Hayes. And then you put There's a strike. Left. Next Thank offering you. is in for a strike. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. This ball's chopped on the ground. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. One gone runner at first. Ramon Urias, the next to hit for the Orioles. And a foul ball. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. I'm back. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two away. Adley Rutschman, the next to hit for the Orioles. Just a slow ground ball this time. They get cool the first friend. third out, and that ends the frame. I'm, I'm playing. What one left hell? for the Orioles. Still 16-0. It's snowing upside down. As we go to the last of the third. And here's the first baseman, oh, no, Garrett Cooper. Saws. Garrett. Saws. And here it comes. There's saws. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. Go! Oh. A shot to left. Oh, and they the add a run. It's 17 to nothing. Oh my God, and now the DH, dog. Matt Carpenter. Why? That one ripped. Why is there so much sauce? Ohern calls it in, and there's one away. Back to the top of the lineup. What? Here's the second baseman, ha Sung Kim. Oh, no. No. Base knock oh, right no. field. No, no, no. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Fastball pretty like much middle, middle, already. and that's what you fall asleep no, dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put circle. a great swing on. Back the spinning circle. Into left center for a base hit. This. Kim, around second, level. headed for it's third. Bringing back the spinning circle of doom. No! In to score from first, and they extend the their lead. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer what? edges. When it's oh! right on a tee, right down the middle, oh, professional hitters are not.
Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He circles the bases. His second home run of the game. It's 20 to 0. Now he's just showing off out there. And who can blame him with a swing like that? Give that man a bat. Watch it go a long way. Coming on for the Orioles, number 78. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, oh, so no, command no, 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 and execution are huge for him. Gathers and I'm singing, it was close. Looks like they want this a second to review nauseous. it. So they have decided to challenge the play, and now it's up to the replay umpires in New York to make the call. Am I good? Let me out, let me out, let me out. Oh it. my God. They Give called the him shape. out, Give and I'm shape, thinking it's gonna here. stay that Give way. I think you're right, and it was oh. worthy of another look, no doubt, but after seeing these replays, oh I, I just God, think they're gonna, gonna stay with up. the original call, just not seeing enough to overturn it. No! Here's the decision they're now, and he is on. out. So they lose the challenge, and they won't have yeah. any more the rest of the way. Hey, that's where the ice keeps Two going. outs, bases empty. Front. So digging in now for San Diego, oh, no. Xander Bogarts. To a different one. This to third. I'm coming. Fires over to first. Bogarts retired. No. And that is that. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. Three innings complete. Major League Baseball is on the show. And welcome back. Now the number two oh, hitter, Gunnar Henderson. The employees go. No, Swing and a miss. And Look that is strike right. one. My job is to save In the air my left field. Soto gets under that it. That I met in a cave. <gasps> oh! And it's caught for the out. I get to, I get to make a helicopter. Anthony Santander at the plate. Went down no, looking on three pitches last time. Let's sleeping, see if he can be though. a little more aggressive right He's here. Sleeping. Lifted in the air I need out to, to get, left. I need to get three Soto makes the to, grab uh, for the second up. out. And then we need to go save. I, Two uh, outs, bases is empty. Blue, Ryan O'Hearn comes up to hit. Blue block guy. That yeah. one's in there, 0-1. All right, the Lunar Whale by Danimal Kennedy. Right. Yeah, that's in for a strike. This guy's pounding Wonder the zone. Hitters don't have time to think I'm in between pitches. I'm pretty sure pitches. the next boss fight. Struck him out looking. The next boss fight is the Iron Man guy. Bottom of the fourth, stepping in for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. All the lack of checkpoints. Oh, no, this is going to be tough. Here comes a pitch. The lack of checkpoints scares me. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads That's, for second. This is not a low moment. I'm not It's a double, and he's three for four tonight. Well, oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing this around right there. Loud contact I'm leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. <laughs> Gary Sanchez at the plate. I know, but I'm And first not offering yet. is fouled off. You know, these Padres really impressed me with the quality of their this. bats in this I'm one. It's been fun up. getting a chance to see them go to work. They were obviously no. able to run the starter out of the game in the third, so they've set the table for a win, and now no, I'm sure they're thinking it's time to, to feast. It. Over to first, but he beats it. So if they're looking to feast, are you oh, saying they've already got a plate but are looking to go back I for seconds? <laughs> yeah, I'd say something like that. And now the first baseman, Garrett Cooper. The hell am I supposed to do? Shoots a line drive like single that. into right center. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Now the DH for the Padres, Matt Carpenter. What am I supposed to do? There's two like that. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base I hit. I can't dodge them. And they hold I, the runner I at can't. third, but the bases I are can't. loaded now with I one really out. Can't. So the lineup flips over. Next for the Padres, Hassan Kim. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. That's a base hit as a run scores. You don't even have a reaction time to do it. Tag and he's out at the play. Get to the bag, 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 get to the bag. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Hammer, base hit. 
Carpenter around third. Now a long throw home. The run comes in from second, and the lead continues to grow. Back-to-back -back singles. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Juan Soto now. Base hit, and a run comes in. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And that should be extra bases. Here comes Tatis around third. He'll score easily. And they extend their lead. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. Nice job keeping it fair as he turned on it down the line. And once it got through the infield, it was a double all the way. CNL Perez takes over on the mound. I think he's got to be a little... A little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard just doesn't have the same intensity to it but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats obviously regardless of the score now the throw to first on the run that's the third out Shut up, nine men come to the plate for to focus. ready now for the fifth inning and into the box for baltimore ryan mountcastle this one popped up. Foul ground, first base side, and a foul ball. This is impossible. <laughs> the 0-2. And a swing and a miss. Now one away. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. High fly ball out to center field. Cronenworth moving under it. Puts it away for the out. Two outs, space is empty. Now the left fielder, Austin Hayes. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hander deals. Back to the mound. And that chance handled. On the run, throw to first. And the Orioles set down in order. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now the center fielder, Jake Cronenworth. And a pitch. Slider clips the zone. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen. Jacob Webb is up and throwing for Brandon Hyde. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. He was all over that one. Nice job of driving that wrist the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And it stays fair. Cronenworth around second, headed for third. And now runners at the corners, nobody out. Oh, this has been a really nice game no at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Breaking ball was in a decent spot down and in, but he did a really nice job getting to it before it tied him up. And now it's going to be Garrett Cooper. What the hell am I supposed the to pitch. do? It is impossible. Cronenworth at third. Sanchez on at first with nobody out. On a line, base hit. In comes the run from third, and the lead continues to grow. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And the 0-1. On the ground, right side, and it goes just foul. First and second here, no outs. Rip to right center, and that one will leave the park. Out of here.
no matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. He.